Now, a lot of people are going to tell you that you have to give up smoking, you have to give up drinking, you have to give up bad language, you have to give up this, that, or the other. The reason why they're telling you those things is because they don't know the truth. They believe a lie of Satan that tells them they have to do certain things to qualify for salvation. The truth is, you do not have to do anything to be born again, because there is nothing you can do to be worthy of salvation. As a matter of fact, if you believe you have done or can do anything to be worthy of salvation, that only makes God angrier. The reason for that is you don't believe that all God demands is an honest apology. So you do not have to do anything to be born again. But you do have to voluntarily submit to the authority of Jesus Christ. That is, you have to accept the fact that after you have been forgiven, Jesus Christ will have authority over you. And as your king, he is going to demand that you always do the right thing. If you are not willing to submit to the authority of Jesus Christ and always do what you know to be the right thing, then you will not be born again. That's because when you ask for forgiveness and submit to Christ, Christ is going to put his spirit within you. You then have a responsibility to protect the spirit of Jesus Christ by always doing what you know to be the right thing. So you need to consider the implications of your decision in light of that fact. Now, if you're feeling really distressed right now because of what I've told you, what you are feeling may be the Spirit of God convicting you on the basis of what I've said. If the Spirit of God is making you feel bad about the fact that Jesus Christ had to suffer and die for your sins... He's trying to convince you that you should apologize to God and submit to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. But it may well be that Satan is making you feel really bad by condemning you so that you will have a false conversion and just pretend to be born again. This is a simple way to tell the difference. If you're focused on yourself and how badly you feel, that's condemnation. You're just feeling sorry for yourself. That won't get you anywhere with God. If you focus on how badly you've treated God and that your sins caused Christ to suffer and die for your sins, that's conviction. And that's good. Without the conviction of the Holy Spirit, it is impossible for you to honestly apologize. So if the Holy Spirit is convicting you, he's trying to convince you that you should apologize to God for what you've done. If you're ready to do that, Here's an example of what God wants to hear from you. He wants to hear that you know the things you have heard from me are true. That you know you have sinned. That you know God has already judged you and found you guilty. That you know you are on your way to hell. That you know you deserve to be punished for your sin. That you know you are not worthy of the promise God made. That you know you cannot do anything to save yourself. That you are sorry that your sins caused Jesus Christ to suffer and die. That you want to be forgiven. That you submit to the authority of Jesus Christ as the King of all creation. That you accept all that Jesus Christ has done by suffering and dying for you so that you don't have to. And that you are willing to always follow the leading of the Spirit and do the right thing.